What's up guys? I'm back ready to do part two. I am uploading part one right now so it should be up very soon. So I still have a ton of questions to go through that were sent to me. I don't know why it's not showing. Okay. Oops. The lighting got messed up. So as you can see I'm still fucking shaky. Um, my anxiety is just through the roof today. My life is so hectic and obviously my medication is not working because I'm still nervous as hell oh my god though if you could see Brady the way he's laying on the floor he's so precious he's such a baby um okay so this question the last question where I stopped is actually about Brady so it says it's a full-time job taking care of a sick pet love to you mama and know that he is happy to have you there to take care of him Brady is such a cute sweetheart Thank you, Anon. Okay, so Brady is 100% blind. He has diabetes. He has, um, actually, he's got diabetic ketoacidosis. He has um, pancreatitis. He has a tumor on his pancreas, and we have exhausted over all of our funds. We've spent over $6,000, and we have even maxed out one of those care credit cards at the vet for him. Um... He's been sick a lot. I've been his mom for almost three years, and he's been very sick. He has Lyme disease, so that hits him a lot. It's just so sad. So he's been really sick this week, and um, he went like three, four days without eating, and it's just been really tough, but he's eating again. Um... He's drinking his water. He's got energy. He's He's been in a reasonable mood. Um, he just gets restless at night. He likes to go to bed, and he likes to tell me when it's time to go to bed. So, it's 12.01. Usually, he'd be sleeping on the couch with me right now watching Desperate Housewives, or he would be in um, bed with me. So, he's on my floor right now. Hi, baby. He crosses his hands, and he crosses his feet. He's so cute. So, it is a full-time job taking care of him, and... It breaks my heart, like, when he's sick. It really breaks my heart. And, um, I just, I don't want to think about what could happen. Because I've we've already been there so many times. Like, his blood sugar was, like, in the 500s. And that's not right. It's not normal. And, um, but he gets insulin twice a day. And he eats really healthy. So, it's just really sad. Um... Yeah, sad. I don't want to think about it. When someone tells you they're hungry, what do you say to them? Dem? That's not a word. But I say go to Chipotle. Okay. What would you do if you're out with your significant other and they call you my friend? Punch him in the face, I guess. I would do that. Okay. Okay. Agree or disagree? There are sometimes people we would be better off not meeting because knowing they exist is just too much to bear. So true. I agree. You're right, sister. All right. How many times? Blah, blah, blah. What the fuck? Okay. September 2009 was an interesting time. True or false? Where was I September 2009? Was I in 10th grade? I think I was in 10th grade. Uh, I went to the same high school Katy Perry and her brother went to. I don't know if I was there 2009 to 2010 and then I dropped out in 2010, I think. Yeah. Was it interesting? No. Um, I was failing every class except for English because I always got an A in that class. Um... People were hideously mean. I had a lot of family problems going on. Um, I was bullied. I wasn't learning anything at school. Teachers weren't helping me. And um, I ended up just dropping out of school at 16. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. This message. These messages. Some people. <sighs> Make videos soon, please. Heart, here's your video. 
should I make my other one after this too? Should I make that Demi Lovato video I was thinking about making? I probably should. Just because I just need to like, I really need to t say what I need to say. I need to get it off my chest. I just do. But um, I don't know if I should. But some of these messages just, just don't make sense like I seriously wonder if these people are like on drugs or drunk or like half asleep when they send me these messages like listen to this screw these stupid people always fucking shit up for everybody else always they quit for a while and then they're back at it again unbelievable to play this shit honestly i hope that's not how it goes down and i just looks like they're fucking around okay out of all these older actors who do you think is attractive jeff bridges george clooney ray liotta i don't know Okay, Jeff Bridges is ugly. George Clooney used to be attractive. And Ray Liotta, I don't know who the fuck that is. Sorry. So, there's your answer. Okay, I like your style. Thank you. I know I'm cute. My hair is fucked up, but whatever. Alright. Tu quieres tener bebe? Wow, wow, wow. What does that mean? Do I, ha do I want to drink water? Do I want to drink water? Do I want water? I don't know. I don't know what that means. Okay. Does Paul have a gambling problem? Next question. So if your man was going out of town and you were working the night he left, would you try to leave work to see him before or just say, hey, he'll be back. Gotta do what I gotta do and I'll see him when he's back. Um, work always comes before men. Remember that, ladies. Never leave work early to go see your boyfriend. You're gonna probably regret it. Okay. My friend is so sexy and she always knows glamorous tricks and what to do. She's so smart. I love her heart. You, duh. Aw, thank you. You're sexy too, whoever the fuck you are. All right. It's a sign the business is going down if everybody about to be homeless. Get out while you can. Find a better club. Where I live, there's no clubs and I've pretty much worked at almost every club in Providence. I don't really have any other options. It's not like I can go to Riviera. I, I live 80 miles from Riviera. Like, I just can't go to, I can't go to New York. New York's three hours away. Connecticut's like two hours away. I just can't find a, there's no other clubs I can work at. I'm at like my last option and it used to be good. They used to pay me $100 a day to show up. When they cut that down to 50, like, yo, I fell behind on everything. So, yeah, we all about to be homeless, but that's life. I can't do anything about it. Personally, I really can't. I really can't do anything about it. Um, I just have to show up with my makeup on and my cute outfits and smile and be so nice to everybody and hope for the best. Hey, don't give up, girl. I have no idea what you're going through right now, but you are worth it, and I know you will make it through whatever is thrown your way. Please stay strong. Sending you love and hugs. Heart, heart. I'm not giving up yet. I will. I'm trying to make it through this. No one really knows what's going on except for Jessica. Um. Honestly, I don't know what's gonna happen. I really don't know. My life is pretty turned upside down right now it's been a really rough year really rough but am i making it through day by day i am but by my birthday on my birthday it's gonna get flipped upside down so um i'm just i'm really trying to stay strong it's hard it's really hard because there's so much going on that nobody knows and it's like it's hard because 
I don't know what's gonna happen, and I don't know what's gonna happen to me or Brady. And um, I can't do anything about it. There's nothing I could do, and um, there's nowhere I can go. There's nothing I can do, and it's just some people don't realize the consequences of their actions and how it can put someone else in danger and um which brings back to the question the person asked what question i answered in the first video like really there's people have secrets so don't trust people right away um always look out for yourself make sure that you are yourself are your first priority that's one thing i wish that i did differently okay Do you like Lupe Fiasco? Yeah, his music's okay. Do you think gift cards are a good birthday idea for a close friend or family person you love? Yeah, gift cards are nice, like especially if they're for Sephora or Victoria's Secret. Hint, hint. I think anybody that gives anybody a gift, regardless of what it is, is a nice person. Because sometimes there's a lot of people that don't get gifts. So, um, it's a nice thing to do. Just the person can tell that you're thinking of them and it will make their day. Trust me. Okay. Why aren't you staying with Paul? What happened? I am. I'm here with Paul. Well, Paul's at work, but I'm obviously at Paul's house. This isn't my cute house in Worcester I used to have. My stuff's still here. I'm still here for now. I got an itchy boob. I'm still here for now. What is going on? I can't talk about it. I really can't. It's This shit is like, I've never been through anything like this in my life. I've never experienced something like this. This has never happened to me. I don't know what's going to happen. But ever since January, it's like my life has been my life has been a disaster. Every moment I am stressed, I am scared, I'm nervous. I'm nervous everywhere I go. I'm in therapy twice a month and I see a nurse practitioner on a different day every month and um you know i've been put on effexor xr so it's like 75 milligrams i think and i my abilify and my valium and clonidine and seroquel and the effexor didn't work at first and then i got it increased and that with the abilify has helped me be a little less depressed and a little more um a little more willing to step out into life if that makes sense like um my fear of leaving the house and parking and going to gas stations and grocery stores and like stuff like that like my i don't know what it's called like fear of being around people has kind of gone down my effects has made me a little bit happier i've been a little more cheerful um my mood has been a little boosted if that makes sense so um I've just been I going to therapy and go, going to um, see the nurse practitioner. Um, these medications have been making me a little bit happier for the most part. I mean, I'm happy a couple months ago I finally got anxiety medication because I hadn't had it in so long. And um, it really helps. I just wish I had more because I'm only allowed to take one a day. And I have four or five panic attacks a day but they have been better since the effects where I got increased it's been a little less panic attacks but there's still been a few situations that have happened that have brought on severe anxiety and my mind won't stop racing and it's enough especially now with Brady being sick too um, I thought a few days ago when I came home I actually thought he was dead I went under, like, I got home from work. I don't remember what time it was. But all the lights were off, and 
normally if you have a dog you know when they hear you come home they start barking they run to the door so I got home and he, he didn't I unlocked the door and he didn't budge I didn't hear anything so he didn't run into the kitchen so I was like Brady 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 where are you Brady he wasn't answering me and I looked around the house. I looked in the corner behind the couches where he always is. I, he wasn't there. I looked under the bed. He wasn't there. I looked on the couch. He wasn't there. I looked in my room right here. He wasn't in here. I looked back in the kitchen. He wasn't there. So I'm, I'm screaming, Brady, Brady, Brady. Like, he had to be home. You know what I mean? I can't find him. I look under the bed again. I don't see him. Put on my phone flashlight. And I finally see him at the other end, like, under where I sleep. He's laying there, lifeless, not moving. I'm screaming, Brady, Brady, Brady. I'm slapping the, I'm slapping the floor. To Brady, Brady, not even moving. His face was facing the other way. I started panicking. I thought he was dead. He's only eight years old. He's only eight years old, and he is my baby. And I thought he was fucking dead. So I. I turned on the light and I was sobbing and I ran to the other end and he was laying there like like his eyes were open but he wasn't moving I was I went to go hit him like poke him like Brady and then he moved and I was like oh my god and I'm like get out from under the bed get out like now and he wasn't moving and I was like get out now and he wasn't moving still so I went and I got the broom and I pulled him out with it and I grabbed him and I was like Brady I was like you scared the crap out of me I said when mommy calls you please answer her I said you you scared the crap out of me really Brady come on and like it just scared it scared me so bad because he didn't move I thought he was dead so that when you have a little puppy who is your life and sleeps with you every single night of your life and it loves you so much when you come home and find them dead like that's pretty pretty shitty so that that just makes my makes my life so much worse you know but um all right so there's a couple questions about work which I'm gonna pass on okay so I'm gonna pass on that why are you suicidal what's wrong can't talk about it I really can't okay this is sweet okay I understand that's a super scary thing to worry about and no honestly you always look glowing and gorgeous but it is part of your job to be the way so you have to maintain it. I know you've always maintained a roof over your head when you were independent. So I definitely know it's not your fault because you are about your business and know how to put necessities first. Be careful and remember you always have family. I'm in a completely different situation now though. I don't have income like I used to. So I would not be able to put a roof over my own head anymore. Only because my pay, because I'm only getting paid $50 a day and like three days a week except for this week because I begged for five days so yeah but and I don't have family because my grandparents just don't talk to me really because they hate that I'm a stripper and they uninvited me for Christmas and I seen them once since then it was in June um it was like be very beginning of June and I saw my grandfather for like 10 minutes and I spent a couple of hours with my grandma that was the one time I've seen them since Thanksgiving. So I just, I don't have family. So, um, all right. Honestly, it makes me sad and depressed to see you are hurt or sad or distraught over something. You give me a lot of strength and you still do clearly because you are remaining as strong as you can for what you've experienced. But I still wish you hadn't had to go through whatever you went through. That hurts me. It really hurts me too, but there's nothing I can do about it. Absolutely nothing. I just, I'm really nervous. I'm scared, but I have to deal with it. And I just, I won't know really what's going on for a couple more months. But, um, I don't know how I give you strength because I'm not strong. I'm really not strong. I've, 
Like, I'm not just like the weakest person ever. I really am. How are you doing today, Chica? Bad. Mala. Have you ever sensed or felt complacency in a relationship? I don't know what that means, so sorry. I don't know what complacency means. Okay. Seriously, you deserve to be rewarded for all you've done for us over the years. Some of us would not be where we are or able to keep going if it were not for you. Okay, first of all, I think you're all the same person. I could be wrong. Because the gram the... Some of these are all capital and like some of these are lowercase and punctuation is different, but I don't know. But whoever you are, I love you. I love my supporters. I really do. Thank you for the support. Like your never ending support is amazing. And um, I would not be here if it wasn't for you because whoever keeps sending me these messages, these really kind ones, it's nice besides all the hate messages I get it's I the reason I keep my anonymous messages on is because this person never messages me not anonymously so I leave my anonymous messages on for this person just so that I can deal with all the hate messages I get and um, and like I'll deal with the hate messages if it means I can get this nice person's message in return you know I will get you a B-Day gift. Girl, yes, fuck yeah, I want a B-Day gift. I never get any birthday gifts, so it would be nice to get one. Mashed potatoes or Mexican food? Mexican food, like, honestly. No, T-Pain is not talented, okay. What the f Aren't you glad when people show their true colors to you? It hurts for a bit, but then you're able to realize they ain't shit and back off some. It's pretty disgusting when people show their true colors. It makes me upset, but I'm glad they did because now I know. Why are guys dicks? I don't know. Because they have dicks and they think that because they have a dick, they can be a dick. They think, oh yeah, I have a dick. I'm cool. Women are useless. Women are stupid. I don't know. Do you ever get like a twinge of jealousy? Like you know you aren't as bad as you used to be and you know you aren't that person anymore. But somehow, sometimes you still get like a sudden jealous feeling and get upset. I hate that. I don't really understand the question. Like, what do you mean I'm not as bad as I used to be? Do I, like, do I get jealous of Paul? Like, no, I don't get jealous. But I really do hate how he constantly is constantly, like, he'll comment on other girls, like, Instagram pictures and stuff or Facebook and hit on them and likes all these, like, pictures of other girls. But he doesn't... Um, give a fuck about me and my pictures he never calls me pretty he never compliments me you know what I mean it's always other girls like porn stars strippers bitches he doesn't even know half naked chicks you know but um I'll be right back everybody Isn't it crazy how, like, I used to be able to edit YouTube videos, like, literally in, like, 2009 and 2010, and I literally can't do it now, so you have to suffer through these hideous videos, because I don't know how to edit them, or speed anything up, or crop anything out, I don't know, I have a MacBook Pro, the lighting is shit, but, whatever. Okay, I am going to go through a couple more questions, and I'm going to stop this, um... You guys know where you can send me questions on my website. 
um, subscribe to my Snapchat and my Instagram. Um, you can call me on Verified Call if you want to talk to me. I, I'm always able to answer unless I'm at work. I can't use my phone at work. So, But if you want to ask me more questions about work, about stripping, like go for it, okay? Have you ever watched a show, Friends? Yes, I love that show. I watched it on Netflix um, when I lived alone. I thought it was really cute. It was funny. I love Joey and Rachel. Okay. Do you like when a man sweeps you off your feet? Well, that hasn't happened in three years, so no. Are Paul or his family into the World Cup? Um, I think his dad watches. I think his dad watched it for Portugal. I think. I don't know. I know he likes football. So, um, your face in that last pic, I'm sorry, just super unflattering angle and pose for your face. No one asked you, you stupid fuck. Tabby, what do you do when you feel like you were excessively rude to someone because you were tired, exhausted, and kind of taking that out on them? I feel bad. Sorry, but I'm never rude, no matter how tired I am. I just can't be because I hate when people are rude to me, so I just can't be rude. So I don't know. I'm sorry. I can't help you with that. Non. Okay, this is sweet. You look like you've been on a 10-day beauty binge, not a meth binge, girl. You tripping. You like fly as fuck. Also, I'm about to beat ass. I don't know if that means I'm, I'm about to eat ass. I don't know. <laughs> Have you heard this song called Red Roses that says, You got a hotty body, put that on my mommy? No, I've never heard that before. Do you ever feel tired of the lethargy but and nor able to rest? Do I feel tired but I'm not able to rest? all the time but that's what seroquel is for my seroquel will makes me sleep at night if i don't take it i will not sleep so um yeah oh my god i still have so many questions Work question. Do you think in the club it's important to be there for one another, stand up for the dancers, etc., or do you think it's better to defend for yourself and fuck everyone else? Honestly, in the club, no one is your friend, even if they are your friend. Um, I keep to myself, but I do have a few friends there, and I do have a couple of people I'm really close with, but I will support anyone there for the most part. Um, we all support each other. No one steals from anybody. We all are, we all support each other, and I would say for the most part, like, you need to respect your co-workers, except for the, the ones that break the rules for everyone else. You know what I mean? Like, they mess it up for everyone else. But um, for the most part, like, yeah, be there for your girls, your friends. Um, I would, don't get too personal with them. Like, I don't really, I don't hang out with anyone outside the club, you know, but I'll talk to them there. And I would n never trash talk them. And, um... I definitely would defend, I defend them to customers all the time if there's something is said. Okay. Do I have a weekly beauty routine? No, I have a daily makeup routine that I do. Okay, dancing related question. You always show your little bag that you keep your toiletries in that appears you carry around while you're on the floor talking to customers and everything. How do you make sure not to lose it while sitting down to chat with someone or when you put it down to do a dance? Well, I've been dancing for six years, so it's pretty much like habit to always have my bag with me. And it helps that it's big and blue, like I, it's hard to lose. So my club's really small, so it's kind of like, I don't know, it's always close to me. Does that make sense? This video is already 30 minutes long. All right, that was actually the last question. For the most part, like I skipped through a lot. So this will be up. Watch part one, obviously, first. Oh, okay. What are... I just got one right now. What are some tricks to fall asleep better? Can't wait to see your video. Um, Honestly, see a doctor. Ambien doesn't work, so don't take Ambien. But if you are, like, bipolar and have 
can't sleep at all, you need a, a sedative, like an antipsychotic sedative, like Seroquel. Take some Seroquel, honestly. Buy some Sleepy Time tea, like the vanilla kind, and which I'll probably make myself right now. And wash the Seroquel down with it. And um, make sure you're not with someone that snores, because that sucks. Paul snores a lot, and Brady snores, and they snore at the same time. But if I take a Seroquel and I'm sleeping, usually that won't wake me up, okay? So, um, that's it for my Q&A part two. Going through my messages, I get messages all the time like, when are you going to make a video? So here's your video, okay? To the sweet people that send me messages, my supporters, thank you so much. You guys keep me going, honestly. I know I don't have any YouTube supporters right now, but I'm just making these videos. I'm just using YouTube to host my videos for my website, for my followers, okay? I love you all. Thank you so much for your support and your messages. Let me know if you need anything else. I'm always here for you, okay? Good night.